Hello and welcome to my latest thread up video. Um, I have some things going on on my account screens and so I thought I would share them with you as I kind of learn what I'm looking at on my account screens. So I'm going to start off here at the main thread up um, homepage and from here I'm going to go right over to this area where it has my little account and I'm going to click on that. Nope. I'm going to click on that. There we go. And I'm going to get my sales to come up. And you can see that I have a credit of $5.57. And that is because on all of my bags and boxes that I have sent into ThreadUp, I have requested them to send back the items that they haven't accepted, which does add $10.99 on to each box or bag that you send in. Um, so I'll show you how it's kind of calculating all of, of those things. Um, but when we first get on the screen here, you can see that it has my stats and that I have a total earned of $27.14. I have seven kits, I have 101 items, and four items have sold, meaning that I have been paid for four items. There have actually been more items sold, but they have been in transit to the purchaser, and then there's the two-week window that the item is um, available for them to return and then once that two week window passes and I'll show you where it does show on the screen um, so you can keep track of the dates and know when you're going to get paid for those items um, then it becomes a sold item. Now I've had one item that has gone through that whole process and I'll show you that also. So that's kind of the first information you're going to see on my stats. On my earnings, um, you can see the total available, and then I can shop with the credit or I can cash out. The next is my potential earnings. So all of the items that have been listed, ThreadUp has taken the pictures, created the listings, and decided on a um, price to sell at, which from what I can tell is usually 50 to 80 percent off the retail price. And I have gone in, um, thanks with um, thanks to Melissa at Vandy's Closet um, for her great um, videos on Thread Up. I have gone in once my closet's gone live, and I, I do have a couple videos on that as well, of going in and changing the price on my items. And it'll allow you on the ThreadUp website to increase your price to what they consider to be 80% of the retail price. So if it's a $100 item, you can raise your price up to $79.99. Um, they will probably start it out somewhere in the you know twenty to thirty dollar range, but you can certainly increase that amount. And so this is potential earnings if everything sells for what I currently have it at. Um, so you can see here next is my kits, and it gives a brief, um, I guess. Uh, what am I trying to say? It gives a brief summary, there we go, of everything that's going on with the kits. So I can view my kit. This is the kit number. It was processed on the 18th. Um, it was a bag. It has um, return assurance. I have 21 items currently available and two have sold. And I'll we'll go in and take a, a closer look at these, but I just want to kind of give an overview of each one. Um, again, here's the kit number, the processing date, um, the return assurance, and I have 22 items for sale. Next uh, bag was processed on the 13th. I have 16 items for sale. Uh, next bag, I have 21 items, five of them have sold. And the last bag I have currently up 
um, has 14 items and six of them have sold um, and that was processed on the 30th of January so that was my very first uh, bag that was processed and that was actually a box that I sent in so that's the difference between where it says label this one was a label and this one was a bag I had um, I guess I had ordered the bag the kits from thread up but it takes about a week and a little bit for you to actually get your bags and so in the meantime I had stuff to send in I didn't want to wait another week and so I used two boxes that I had so that's the difference between label and bag to let you know which is which and then down here um, we can see that I have two kits that they've received and I'm going to click on that real quick and show you that um, those were both bags. I have return assurance on both of those. This one was received on the 3rd of February and this one was received on the 17th. Um, this says it's going to be processed by the 25th. You can see that today is the 24th that I'm recording this. I do not anticipate that this will be processed on the 25th. Fifth. It has been taking like three to five additional days from when they say that it will be processed to actually be processed. So I would expect this closer to the 1st of March to be processed. I do not um, pay extra to have it expedited um, because I'm fine with whatever date that they process it and I would rather have my money go into the return assurance than into the processing time. I have one kit that is in transit to them um, and I can track that bag. I do take my bags and boxes to um, FedEx and they scan it in and send it. Um, I do believe it goes ground so it does take a week or two um, for it to work its way to thread up and um, but I find it really easy to drop it off at FedEx and then I have four kits that I am, have the bags for and I'm working on because I ordered five additional ones at a time um, so let's go back real quick to my kits and I'm going to start with the very first one um, that I had so I had 20 items total that they accepted and this one I remember because I have done a thread up um, video on my YouTube channel um, on this and I realize I've totally forgotten to say hi my name is Trisha and I am a part-time um, reseller and my store name on eBay and Poshmark is Sandy and Auto, and I do have a link and I do continue to have a link on my Instagram account and on uh, my YouTube videos so you can go directly into my thread up closet and take a look at my items. Um, so I apologize for not skipping over the introduction real quick. Um, but I did have 20 items um, that they accepted and I know that I had four returned to me. Um, and I do have a video on those where I kind of unbox those to take a look at why they were returned. And on those four items, I, I realized one um, had a little more wear than I, I really realized that it had. So I'm going to keep that and I'm going to list that myself. Um, there's another one that um, was a Lauren Ralph Lauren striped shirt. Um, it was in really good condition, but I noticed that it did have, I'm guessing, a little makeup around the collar, which I did um, treat that and I did wash that up. And I'm deciding whether or not I'm going to include that um, back or if I'm just going to go ahead and list it. And a couple other brands that I wasn't really sure if they were going to accept and what the, the price would be really um, when they accepted it. Um, so again, real quick, back to the screen here. Um, so my remaining potential payout is $335. Again, if everything sells for the price that I have it at. Uh, my earnings so far are $16.53 uh, minus the return assurance to get those four items back. And so, so far I have my payout of $5.57. And on the screen you can see it. this is the list of the 14 items that are still available. 
And if I go to my um, store view, or if I click on each one individually, which I will go ahead and click on one of them, um, you can see how many hearts it has, so how many people have marked it as favorites. Um, I've noticed that ThreadUp recently, and I think it's still going on, has a special where it, you go in and mark, a, I think, 10 items as favorites, then you get a percentage off of certain items. So, yes, people are interested in these items and have marked them as favorites and are probably tracking them. And some of them have probably just marked the items that were special for that week in order to get the coupon code to use that on other items. Um, so I'm just going to throw that out there that that was also kind of a promotional thing that was going on. And I'm going to scroll through and you can see the items that I have here. Um, again, kind of gone through the pricing, the percentage, and the payouts on those. Um, and then as we go down to the bottom, um, we can see that that is the end of the items that are still available for sale. And then I have four pending sales, meaning that this one has been delivered, but a return is allowed until tomorrow, um, which is will be February 25th. If that item isn't returned, then I believe on the 26th, I will receive my payout percentage on that. This code is in transit. This one was delivered, returns allowed until the 27th. This one is still in transit. And then the two items that are sold, um, this one was sold to a external customer and it was not returned, so I did get my $8.28 payout on that, and that sold for $35.99. This, um, let me see if I click on this, does it actually show that it was, it says it was sold, um, and then you can see that it was seven favorites, and I'll show you the difference between this one and the skirt. Um, so we'll pay attention to this area, I believe this whole area in here, when I go back and then click on the skirt. Um, because the skirt was purchased in a different way. Um, I'm going to quickly scroll down to the bottom again. And I'm going to click on this skirt because it was sold on the 22nd, and I've already received my payout on this one. Um, so it was just purchased two days ago. And this one was sold in a goodie box. And I actually have, I believe, four items, maybe even five items so far that have been purchased for goodie boxes. Um, so if you have, um, if you're interested in goodie boxes, or if you've gone through the process of goodie boxes, now you can kind of see where they're getting their items from. Um, so again, I had this listed for $35.99. They um, paid me $8, I'm going to scroll down here again, to the very bottom, $8.28 because that was what my percentage payout was for $35.99. Um, so I find it interesting. They pay $8.28. I'm curious when they send it off into a goodie box how much they charge the customer for that item. Kind of crossed my mind as I was looking at all the items that they had kind of picked for goodie boxes. Um, so anyway, so that is kind of the first box and things that I'm looking for. Um, uh, as I'm going through and scrolling through the information. Again, I'm going to take a look at this one real quick. This was my second box. And again, I have received $7.88 in earnings. Hasn't quite covered my $10.99. So I will expect my next payment, they will take the $3.11 out, and then I'll have um, the remaining as my payout balance. Um, this one has a few higher priced items in it. Um, I have a few more items that are new with tags in this one. I'm going to scroll down um, again kind of to the bottom area and show you that um, this one has four pending sales. So these are all items that are still out that have been delivered but are still in that two week window uh, return window. And then this one was, again, a item that was selected for a goodie box, and so I received my payout on that immediately. 
Um, next one, this one, um, this one might have a reserve item on it. So I'm going to, again, scroll down this one um, towards the bottom. If an item has been reserved, this one has been reserved, meaning that it is in someone's cart. And when I click on it, or if you're looking in your um, view of your closet, you can actually see that it says that it, it is in someone's cart. And when it's in someone's cart, they have it reserved for 24 hours, and you can see the countdown here. Oh, also I want to mention, when your items have been available for 10 days, they are then um, able to have a coupon code used on them um, to get them for a reduced price. So again, I have this at $43.99, which is 26% off the estimated retail, and then someone can purchase it for an additional 20% off, which would then lower my payout um, to whatever the payout is for $35.19. Um, but you can see then how, I just wanted to show how it looks when it's in someone's cart. And then um, one of the last things that I want to show is I have an item in this cart and I'm going to have to contact thread up on this one um, because this item right here, this um, Lauren Jeans Company linen pants, um, it I think is stuck in limbo. It <laughs> has been um, listed. I was able to adjust the price um, before the bidding starts, but it didn't click in to the bidding process yet, and it hasn't clicked into going live yet. Um, and it's been a couple days and I was kind of waiting. This is a Monday. So I was waiting over the weekend um, to see if maybe it would click in, but it didn't. So I'm going to have to contact thread up and I'm going to do that through the chat feature and I'll get the information, um, including to, to help them my kit number and any, um, other information I can gather on this item to make it easier for them to find so that they can do what they need to do on their end to get this item active. I have um, 20 items listed um, that are still available for sale on this um, bag and I do have a few items here. You can see these are the reserved ones and it does on this view put those down at the very bottom and this one I wanted to show, um, well, here, I've got kind of three things going on. This one was purchased by a customer, and it is in transit. This item was, again, purchased for a goodie box, and so I received my payout immediately on this one. This one um, is interesting because on my phone view, it says unavailable. It doesn't say reserved. It doesn't say sold. It says unavailable. And when I click on this one, I can see that, in fact, it has been sold. They are just doing the processing on the thread upside. And again, this is going to a goodie box. Um, and this one was favored by um, 13 people. So this was kind of on a lot of people's radar. Um, really cute skirt, um, very comfortable skirt. Um, but you can see that when it's in the process of being sold through a goodie box, it does take a day or two to register as sold um, from when they kind of reserve it and then go through the processing um, or the purchasing process on their end. I'm going to scroll down here again um, to look at this item. And then eventually then it will pop into this sold box down here and I will get my payout. Now this is a brand, again, I will probably not send any more tops um, from this. I believe it's Pleone. Um, brand because the payout is not good. The starting cost on this one is not high enough um, to have a good payout. This um, Denim and Company also did not have a very high um, starting price, so I was not able to raise it high enough to get a the kind of payout that I'm looking for. And again, the, these are my first few boxes, so I'm seeing how things are priced. Um, 
I try to look at the active items and see what the starting price is on those to determine whether or not I want to send them in. Um, but those can sometimes vary and fluctuate a bit. Uh, so you can't always tell which ones are going to be the good ones and which ones aren't. Um, but again, this one I'm, you know, happy to have a sale on it. So, um, so I'm going to, going to enjoy getting my five dollars and sixty six cents when that does um, process through. But I just wanted to go through and show. Um, how because it's had uh, some really good examples of things you can look for on your screen um, while it's going through the process and uh, being able to identify um, what's happening with your items and what stage of purchase non-purchase um, they're in so i hope you enjoyed this video um, i'm learning thread up and sharing all that i can while i'm going through the process um, but if you have any questions on anything please let me know and appreciate it if you could like um, this video on your way out and if you are enjoying um, this thread up content um, or um, any of my what sold videos which i will be including these thread up items now in, as they um, are processing through and I'm getting um, actual payments for them. I am including those in my what sold videos. Uh, so please consider subscribing to my channel and I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time.